Okay, let's look at how we can export a PDF file into Procreate. So from my Files app, I am going to use this first file here that says Practice Pages Sentiments. So if I just tap on that, it's going to open in um, the PDF form. But if I want to export it into Procreate, in the top right, you can see where it says Open in Procreate. We're just going to tap on that and that's going to automatically put it into Procreate for us. So um, what Procreate does is it automatically converts this into their feature called Page Assist. So you'll notice down at the bottom, there are some little thumbnails that you can scroll through and see your whole um, document down here at the bottom. Um, and if you want, you can turn this feature off. Uh, if you go to the wrench and go to Canvas, and um, right where it says Page Assist, we're gonna turn that off, and that will get rid of um, that bottom part there and just have everything um, in the layers uh, normally. However, I'm going to turn this back on and show you how you can um, continue using the Page Assist feature. So um, let me go down to our first layer here, and you can see that all of our layers are turned on, but it's only going to show you whichever layer is highlighted that you tap on. So I'm going to start with the first layer. And one thing that you don't want to do when you're hand lettering, let me just choose a brush here. Um, when you're hand lettering on these, one thing that you don't want to do is draw right on that layer, which is what I just did. So I'm going to undo that and show you uh, what you want to do is uh, in this plus sign next to where it says layers, we're going to tap that plus sign and it's going to add a new blank layer. But you can see now that we have this blank canvas and now we can't see what's beneath it. So a way to fix that is we're going to select this layer and the layer beneath it and put it in a group. So to do that, we have uh, the blue one where it says layer 17, we have that highlighted. And we're also gonna select the layer beneath it. And to do that, we're just gonna swipe it to the right. And now they're both highlighted blue. So now up at the top in the right, we can click on group. So now that has put both of those layers in its own layer group and you can uh, collapse it by tapping that little arrow there. Um, but now we have our practice page and a, an empty layer now that we can go in and practice lettering there. And now you can see that is going to be in its own layer and it's still going to maintain um, the original layer without uh, messing it up or writing over it. So now you can um, play around with this layer. You can clear it. You can add you know, as many layers as you want um, above that just by duplicating those layers. And then when you're finished with this one, you can collapse it and let's go to another layer. So let's say we wanna to go to the next layer. We're gonna repeat, repeat that, um, grouping the layers together like we did originally. So again, add a plus, add a layer by tapping the plus sign, select both of them. And I just, again, just swiped it to the right to select and then tap group. And then we can collapse that. Go to the next one, add a layer, select the one beneath it and group. Go to the next one, add a layer, select, group, and then collapse. And now you can see we're starting to have um, all of these layers in their own little groups. So whenever you're ready to work on that page, you can open it up and go to the blank layer and start lettering. Now, if you want to, you can also rename these layers. So when you make a group, it's just going to say new group. So this one, for example, is the one for baby shower and adoption. So you can name it that if you want, just by tapping it and going 
to rename so you can say baby shower and um what did i say it was adoption okay. so you can name it that way so things are easier to find um, if you want to duplicate layers so if um, for example i've provided some blank guidelines here you can just swipe it to the left and choose duplicate and then you have several of those layers available for you so that is how you can um, use the page assist feature in procreate and import your pdfs and have fun lettering let me know if you have any questions